In this video, I want to prove the derivative of natural log of x by first principle and then use it to prove the derivative of a to the power x, e to the power x, and uh, log base a of x. Okay, so let's get started with e to the power x. So let f of x is equal to natural log of x or ln of x. Now we want to use the first principle, so we'll say if f of x is natural log of x, f of x plus h would be natural log of x plus h. So by first principle, so by first principle, what can we say? Uh, f dash x, this is the definition of first principle, is the limit when h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Okay, so what happens? So f of x plus h is natural log of x plus h. So that is the limit. This is equal to the limit when h approaches zero of natural log of x plus h minus natural log of x over h. Okay, so now using the log rule, uh, I'll factor out 1 over h out like this. So 1 over h, uh, the limit uh, h approaches zero of natural log of x plus h over x. Okay, so here this becomes uh, 1 over h. I'll fact this 1 over h is out. The limit when h approaches 0 of natural log of, <clears throat> this can be understood as x over x plus h over x, which is 1 plus h over x. Now after this step, we have to do a substitution which is uh, a bit difficult. Okay, so you're going to substitute, uh, you're going to substitute like this, let h of, let, let me write let properly, let v is equal to h over x, let v is equal to h over x, <clears throat> which implies when h approaches zero, I want you to think what happens. When h is approaching zero, when h is becoming smaller and smaller, this whole quantity is going to be approaching zero. As this number becomes smaller and smaller, approaches zero, this v would approach, this implies v is approaching zero. So it is equivalent to say that when h is approaching zero, v is approaching zero. Also, what can we say? Uh, in place of, can we also, can if you cross multiply, can we write h is equal to vx or 1 over h is equal to 1 over vx. So we're going to do, in fact, uh, two subst or three substitutions. So what are we going to change? In place of v approaches 0, we're going to write, so in, a, in place of h approaches 0, we can write, v approaches 0, because it is equivalent to say when h is approaching 0, to say v is approaching 0. The sub second substitution, I'll use this red color, 1 over h can be substituted by 1 over vx. And, of course, this, let me use uh, this color, yeah, this color, so this h over x can be substituted by v. So we're going to change the whole thing into v. So let me scroll this slightly up. Okay, so can we write this like this? Uh, this is equal to uh, 1 over h can be written as 1 over vx. The limit in place of h approaches 0, we can write v approaches 0. Natural log of 1 plus v. Okay, we're almost there. So this is equal to, I'll factor out the 1 over x out and 
take one over v inside. That's the limit when v approaches zero of one over v times natural log of one plus v. This is equal to one over x times natural log of, I'm going to uh, take the limit from the year to inside. So I can say the limit when v approaches zero of uh, one plus uh, natural log, or natural log, I already did natural log outside. Can I write, applying the log rule, I can write one plus v raised to one over v. I should write one step here. So this is equal to one over x, the limit when v approaches zero of, can I write this as natural log of one plus v raised to one over v, applying the same uh, uh, rule of uh, the log rule that we have applied. Where did we apply? We applied the third, or this is one of the log rules. So the power, this product can be raised as power. And now I change the limit to this expression. Now, this is a number. The limit when v approaches zero of one plus v to the power one over v is nothing but this whole thing is nothing but e okay let me explain that on a calculator so this is your run menu let me cancel this so if you type in one plus let us v is approaching zero so let me take v is 0 0.001 raised to one divided by v so one divided by 0 0.001 Okay, that will give me uh, what? This 2.71. What happens? I hope you know the value of E. If I put three more zeros here and same same thing, three zeros here. Yeah, so one, two, three. This is 2.7182. Now this number, I hope you know, is E. So just to show you what's the value of E, E has this number, okay, 2.718281. So as this number, V, is approaching zero, becoming smaller and smaller, this whole thing is going to become zero. So this is a limit. So we can say this is nothing but, this is equal to 1 over X times natural log of, uh, I have to stop, I got a phone call. Uh, I will stop. I'll... Sorry for stopping the video. I had to attend a phone call. So this is 1 over x times natural log of e. Now natural log of e has a base of e. So natural log of e is nothing but 1. So that I'll show. This is 1 over x times 1, which is 1 over x. Okay. So let me show that. So if you press natural log of shift e to the power 1 is 1, okay, because the base is e, so you're asking the question e to what power gives you e, which is 1. So we have proved that, so this implies, this implies, or therefore, if y is equal to, if y is equal to natural log of x divided by dx, is equal to 1 over x. So let me explain this with an example. What does this mean? So uh, so if you have a question, let us understand this. Uh, natural log of, uh, say, if y is equal to, say, natural log of 10. Okay, this implies dy by dx, dy by dx should be 1 over 10 which is 0 0.1. So let us check that on the calculator. So again, get your calculator and go to your table menu and type in, let me delete this, and say type in natural log of x. And let us go at a step of 1 to 10. Okay, and step of 1. So if you scroll down to 10, as the derivative is on, 
So at 10, can you see this is a derivative function? At 10, it is 0.1, which is 110. Okay, so uh, uh, let me continue um, past 10 minutes. So uh, the next function is, uh, we want to prove, so we have proved this, we have proved this, natural log of x is 1 over x. So let me also prove a to the power x is what? Okay, I'll prove the next two in the next video. Okay, so let me continue. We'll, we're going to use this. So now, uh, if y is equal to a to the power x, find or prove or find the derivative of find dy by dx. Find dy by dx. Okay, so yeah, y is equal to a to the power x. So can I say take natural log on both sides? So natural log of y is equal to natural log of a to the power x. So natural log of y is equal to x times natural log of a. So I can say x is equal to, uh, okay, so let me take uh, d by dy. Okay, uh, can we write like this? x is equal to natural log of y divided by natural log of a. Natural log of y divided by natural log of a. So I'm going to use the operator d by dy of both sides. So dy dy of x is equal to 1 over, one over natural log of x is a constant. So I can factor the fact uh, constant out times d by dy of natural log of y. Okay, so d, d by dy of x. So this is a constant. I hope you know a is a constant here. Yeah. a is a constant. I didn't write that. a is a constant. a is a a is any number. Okay, so when in algebra and calculus, a, B, C are used for constants and X, Y, Z are used for variables. So as this is a constant, you can factor out natural log of 1 over natural log of A is a constant times D by DY of natural log of Y. So what I've done is I've taken the derivative operator D by DY of X or I've taken the derivative with respect to Y out on both sides. So here you're asking d by dy of x is what? That is nothing but dx by dy. dx by dy is 1 over natural log of a times, this is what? This is 1, d by dy of natural log of y is 1 over y. y. Okay, <laughs> so because we proved d, if y is natural log of x, d by dx of natural log of x is 1 over x. So using the same logic, if d by dx of natural log of x is 1 over x, d by dy of natural log of y is 1 over y. Okay, so I can say dy by dx, if you make the take the reciprocal of both sides, dy by dx is equal to y times natural log of a. But what is y? But what is y? y is a to the power x. Okay. Therefore, I can say dy by dx okay, is equal to a to the power x times natural log of a. This is a very important rule. So, so let us uh, recap. If y is equal to a to the power x, that means if you have an exponential function, y is equal to a to the power x. This implies or dy by dx is a to the power x times natural log of a. Okay, so let's use this as, let us test this by an example. So what does this mean? So if you have got y is equal to 2 to the power x, 2 is a constant, Using this rule, I can say dy by dx is the function itself, that is 2 to the power x times natural log of 2. This is your answer, but how will you test? 
So divide by dx, let us take a arbitrary x value at x is equal to say 1. At x is equal to 1 would be 2 to the power of 1 times natural log of 2. So I'll have to calculate, I need a calculator. This is 2 times natural log of 2. So let me get the calculator. So 2 times, 2 times natural log of 2 is 1.38. Okay, so let me write that. 1.38. I'll not write all the numbers. 38 dot 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 dot. I want to check this. So what, what does this mean? Okay, so let me show this in a graphical way. Suppose this is your function. 2 to the power x is an exponential function. So it will go like this. So this is, this is 1, 0. And this is the graph of at 1, at, suppose this is a 1, this is 1, this is this point is 1 comma 2. I hope you know because the function is 2 to the power x. This point is 1 comma 2 and this is a function of y is equal to a to the power x. 2 to the power x, sorry. It's 2 to the power x. So at this point the gradient is 1.38. That means if you draw a line if you draw a line and this line just touches the, at this point, the gradient is 1.38. That's the meaning of, that's the meaning to say that dy by dx at x is equal to 1 is 1.38. So let's check that on a calculator. Go to table, okay, and type in 2 raised to x. The only thing that you have to do in a graphic calculator, your derivative has to be on, okay? And then you type in 2 raised to x at 1. Okay, 1 is there already. So go to table. Oops. At 1, can you see at 1 your function is 2, the value of the function is 2, and the derivative is 1.386, and that's what we got. Okay, so along with this, let us prove that if y is equal to a to the e to the power x, divided by dx is a to the power x, divided by dx is e to the power x. Okay, so we can use the same logic. We just proved, what did we prove that? If y is equal to a to the power x, we just proved if y is a to the power x, dy by dx is the function itself, which is a to the power x times natural log of a. So, Using the same rule, if y is equal to e to the power, e is also a constant. E is also a, this is a special constant. dy by dx would be what? e to the power x, the function itself, times natural log of e. And natural log of e has a base of e, so this is nothing but, well, this is what? 1. So, we can say dy by dx is equal to e to the power x. Okay, I think I'll prove the next in the next